Drawing one card from a standard deck of 52 cards, find the probability of getting an ace or a king. Let's look at the general rule of addition with probability. And that is the probability of event A, here I'm not letting A stand for ace, it's just in general um, we use A to, to talk about a general event A, or B, so the probability of getting either event A or B equals by itself the probability of just getting event A plus the probability of getting event B on some trial minus the probability of both of those events happening on that one trial. So we talk about that as probability of A and B. The probability that you get both of those events on one trial. So for this first example in A, an ace or a king. Well, let's draw a Venn diagram. We have four aces. And we also have four kings. So these are called mutually exclusive because I'm showing this in, in a diagram form showing that they're not overlapping. You can't have both an ace and a king on one single card. So using this formula then, we won't even have this, this um, occurrence of having A and B happen with just one card. So if we do the probability of an ace and a king, I'm sorry, ace or a king on one draw, that equals the probability of an ace plus the probability of a king minus, I'll just write zero. This, in this example, we, we're not getting both of those. It's, it's impossible to get an ace and a king with one single card. So, it is possible to get one or the other though, so that's a there's a big difference between the word and and or. We add the probabilities because what's happening is we're saying, well, you could either get an ace or a king, so you, you have to uh, consider that. You have four aces out of 52 cards plus another four kings out of 52 cards, and that result is eight out of 52. Or if you wanted to write this as a decimal, and oftentimes probability answers are written as a decimal, it's about 0.154. But it's very good to see that fraction, to see uh, where this probability is coming from. You're adding the, the four aces plus the four kings divided by the, the total of 52 cards in the deck. All right, let's take a look at this ace or spade example. And in this example, uh, we have things that are not mutually exclusive. That is, a, a card can be an ace and a spade at the same time. So we will have this and uh, show up in example B. So we have, again, four aces. And we have 13 spades. That's, that's in a standard deck. And we have this overlapping. So we're not going to count that overlapping twice. So that's our and, and, that, and that's why we, we subtract that. So here's what happens. When we write this out as a probability, the probability of an ace or a spade, that's the probability of an ace plus the probability of a spade minus the pro oops just minus not equals minus the probability of I'll just write both just for your time and the space here minus the probability of both the probability of an ace is 4 out of 52 we found that in the last example the probability of a spade is 13 out of 52 there are 13 different spades in the deck but what we've done there is we've counted that four of spades twice because we've counted it as an ace and we've counted it as a spade. We can't count it twice, so we're going to um, take it off, take off one of those. So that one card, that is both. This, this both is the ace of spades.
that's that's the card that is both an ace and a spade so that one card we don't want to count it twice we've counted it with the uh, aces and the spades so we'll subtract one of those that we counted one out of 52 and uh, that equals 16 out of 52 which is approximately equal to 0 0.308 if you are putting this into a decimal notation. Uh, real quickly on that, I want to let you know about the way I prefer to look at these. The, the formula is great. It works every time. There's nothing wrong with the formula. But I just look at the situation. I look at, uh, I look at it like this. I would say there are four aces plus 12 more that are spades because we've already counted the the ace of spades and so then I would get my 16 there 4 plus 12 equals the the 16 and that's that's just the way I prefer to do it you might you might like that as well but the formula is is great also and it's important to understand uh, where these formulas and where the uh, probabilities come from